Greetings everybody, welcome back to my channel. On this week's tutorial, uh, I'm going to be diving back into OBS and I'm going to be showing you how to use the image uh, mask slash blend tool in uh, OBS. Now I have touched upon a few of uh, these filters in previous videos. One of them is in my uh, scroll and text video where I utilize the scroll filter. I leave a link up in the corner for you to go back and check that video out. But anyway, let's uh, go into um, our webcam and select filters. And then we just add the image mask slash blend filter. Now what the image mask is, is just that it lets you bring in an outline to to cut out uh, your source to that shape so for instance if you have uh, a webcam you could change the shape uh, of how that webcam is displayed on your scenes like uh, let me show you first thing first we need to uh, change the type to alpha channel and select browse I already created a few shapes is a circle shape as you see here it uh, turned uh, your webcam into uh, a circular outline so we also have other shapes as well we could change it to an octagon a hexagon Or just use a star and uh, make yourself into a movie star. <laughs> but uh, all these shapes you could definitely create uh, in any photo editor. And I'm going to show you how to create a custom one uh, using GIMP. So let's start off GIMP. And let's go to File and new and make sure to set your um, your image to the same size of your OBS uh, scene resolution so if your uh, scene resolution is 920 by 1080 set your image to uh, 1080 as well also uh, we don't need any cutter uh, background cutter we just need uh, transparency so just go into advanced options go to full width and change it to transparency now I took a screenshot on my webcam earlier to, um, to kind of guide us in how to make uh, our outline so let's bring that into uh, GIMP as a layer. Now we just reshape this layer to sh to fill out, you know, um, the canvas. So let's go into height. Let's change it to 1080. And then uh, we could just take any tool you want. Um, I'm going to use the free select tool and just uh, draw some irregular shape. And then you just uncheck your guide layer, select the full tool with the black cutter, select that background layer, and just fill it in. And we just unselect all, go to file, export it. 
And we're gonna put it on the desktop. We're gonna call it uh, just a custom mask. And set it as a PMG. Now we just go back into the filter and use our custom mask we create with a uh, GIMP. Also, uh, you could also use this filter to uh, blend images together. So, uh, I have a background image here. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to add this filter. Image mask slash blend. And I'm going to ch change the type to blend to multi. And I got an image I downloaded earlier. I'm going to use that one. And as you see, it blends both images together, giving it a unique effect. Anyway, that's pretty much uh, what you could utilize this uh, filter for. If you have any questions, leave in the comment below, and I would uh, try to help you in uh, understanding how to utilize this filter. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and find it helpful. Uh, make sure to click on the notification bell uh, to get notified of coming videos. And hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. As always everybody, have a nice day. And I see you on the next video. Take care everybody.